टाइम सेव्ड स्टैंडर्ड टाइम डिवाइड बाय टाइम टेकन इफ इट इज ओनली होलसेल प्लान वी कॉल इट एज होलसेल प्रीमियम A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adar Sir here, lecturing with the Ashram Facilitate College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are discussing your session two, unit four of cost accounting. The topic called labor. And in the previous session, we discussed about the topic called your labor and your wholesale as well as row one plan. Who are all saying row one? Why we are practicing wholesale and row one? Why don't we go for piece rate or your wages, hourly rate? All these discussions we have done in the previous session. If you have not watched the previous session, please go back. You will get all the fundas, basic things in your previous session. Without understanding concept, never go for any practical problems. Now, what we are going to discuss in today's session. The agenda is very simple. We'll go with the concept, whatever we discussed in the previous session. Along with that, we go for wholesale plan and row one plan. Today it will be completely practical session. Practical session in the sense we will work out problems on wholesale as well as row one. So in this, from the following information, calculate the earning. Now there are three employees or three workers are there. We can call them as x y and z time taken by them see the same work is given to x y as well as z but x he is completed his work within 26 hours y he has completed 24 hours and z completed within 20 hours now so what is the contract the contract is Standard time is 30 hours, like your examination will give you 3 hours. You can complete in complete 3 hours or else you can complete in even 2 hours also. Similarly, the standard time is given 30 hours but this person completed in 26. This person completed in 24 and this person completed in just 20 hours. Hope you are clear. Yes. So these are the time given to X, Y as well as Z. Now, what is the hourly rate here? The hourly rate is 25. Now, so these are the informations we have. With the help of this information, we are supposed to find out wholesale plan and row one plan. In the previous session, I gave you formula for wholesale as well as row one. Keep that formula. We will work out this problem. First, we'll go for wholesale plan. Wholesale plan, everything we have done. Remember, whatever I have done in the right side, these are working notes. Whatever I have done in the left side, these are your answer. Now, how many persons are there? Three persons. Who are they? X, Y, and Z. X, Y, Z. Now, in this, what is the formula for wholesale plan? The formula is, Time taken into hourly rate, time saved into hourly rate. So what is the formula? Time taken into hourly rate, time saved into hourly rate. As per this, time taken is how much? 26. Hourly rate is how much? 25. What, where it is given? I'll go back to your question. Time taken 26, rate per hour is 25. Clear? And 1 by 2, it is a half, it is already given in the formula itself. Time saved, how do we find out time saved? I'll go back to question. They have given 30 hours, but he has completed in 26 hours. How many hours saved? 30 minus 26, he saved 4 hours. Hope you are clear. Yes. So time saved is 4 hours. Hourly rate is common, it is 25. 26 multiply 25, you will get 650. 25 into 4, it will be 100. Half of the 100 is 50. 650 plus 50, his answer is 700. As per wholesale plan, the answer of X is 700. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, similarly, Y also, time taken, 24. How come it is 24? I'll show you. 24, it is given in the question itself. You are not finding anything new except time saved. Time saved also easy. 
standard time minus actual time is your time saved. Now, 26, 24 hours will be time taken and hourly rate is 25, time saved 6. How come it is 6? Now, 30 minus 24, you will get 6 hours you have saved. Now, so as per this 6 hours you have saved into 25, as per this 600, 25 into 6, 150, half of the 150 is 75, add this, you will get 675. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, so we have completed up to this now. We have completed up to this. In this, 20 and 25, it is all about Z. How many hours Z taken? Just 20 hours. What is the standard time? 30. 30 minus 20, the answer is almost 10 hours. Yes saved. Now, 10 hours multiply with 25, you will get 250. Multiply with half, it will be 125. 500 plus 125, this will be 625. Hope you are clear. Yes, we are done with X, Y and Z. Now, these are the working notes. Already I have done here small, small working notes, but you are in your examination, working notes should be in the proper manner. I'll show you how to do this. Time taken, first person, 26, 24 and 20. These are the time taken by X, Y, Z. What is the standard time? 30. What is the hourly rate? 25. These are the information we have written to do this problem. Now, time saved, standard time divided by time taken, standard time. What is the standard time? 30 minus 26. 30 minus 24, 30 minus 20. Now, as per this, if you minus, you will get 4 hours, 6 hours, as well as 10 hours. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, so these are the information we have done. There is a whole plan for X, Y, Z. Now, with keeping the same information, we'll go for row 1 plan. Whole plan if we complete it, we'll go for row 1 plan. So before we go to row one plan, in the question they have asked, calculate the earning. Earning we have calculated, these are the earning. 700, 675, 625, these are their earning salary. Now, and earning per hour, we have to calculate per hour how much they are getting. It is very simple. Your salary is 30,000. What is your salary? 30,000 per month. What is salary per day? Very simple, per day salary will be 1000. Hope you are clear. What is your salary? 30,000. Per day, how much is your salary? Per day salary will be how much? It is 1000 because there are 30 days in a month, 30,000 divided by 30, you will get 1000. RLs. Your per day salary is how much? 1000. Your per day salary is 1000. How many hours you work per day? 10 hours. Now, what is your salary per hour? 1000 divided by 10 hours, your salary is 100 rupees per hour. Similarly, we calculated what is your salary per day. Per day, we calculated, but per hour, how much you will get? Per hour, how much you will get? Now, so he works for around, it is not per day, his total salary it is, because per day we don't get 25 hours. Now, there is a total salary he earned. Now, what is the salary per hour now? Very simple. 700 divided by 26. 675 divided by 24. 625 divided by 20. You will get per hour. That is only we are calculated. 700 divided by 26. 675 divided by 24. 625 divided by 20. Now your answer will be 27.92, 28.13, 31.25. If it is given just wholesale plan, it is a wholesale premium. See, normally in the question, they will give you wholesale plan and row one plan. If it is only wholesale plan, we call it as wholesale premium. Now, we'll go with the next one, row one plan. What is the next one? Row one plan. Now, the total earning as per row 1 plan, first you learn the formula. 
टाइम टेकन इन टू अवर लिट टाइम टेकन इन टू अवर लिट बोथ द साइड वी राइट द सेम थिंग अलॉन्ग विद दट टाइम सेव्ड मेक इट उल्टा टी एस विल बिकम एस पी टाइम सेव्ड विल बिकम स्टैंडर्ड टाइम होप योर फॉर्मूला इज वेरी ईजी रिमेंबर दिस टाइम टेकन इन टू अवर लिट टाइम टेकन इन टू अवर लिट अलॉन्ग विद दट टाइम सेव टी एस डिवाइड बाई एस पी क्लियर यस नाउ टाइम टेकन फॉर एक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स अवर लिट ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स अवर लिट ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम सेव ऑलरेडी बी no need to do working note again because it is already there 4 divided by standard time 30 simplify this you will get 736.67 similarly calculate for x is done calculate for y 24 into 25 24 multiply with 25 time saved 6 divided by 30 if you simplify you will get 720 clear if you know the formula it is easy to calculate now similarly we'll go for z z also 20 hours you are used 25 rupees per hour calculate you have time saved is 10 divided by 30 500 plus 10 divided by 30 simplify you will get your final answer now so if you calculate this it will be 500 into 10 by 30 500 into 10 divided by 30 i get 166 500 plus 166.67 your answer will be 666.67 this will be your answer for z hope you are clear yes so like this you are supposed to calculate now earning per hour same procedure what to do you you have to take your answer like you got answer 736 720 736 720 667 just now we calculated so make it 666.67 divide by number of hours you will get 28.33 30 33.33 hope you are clear now i'll show you this If you go for Halsey plan, X will get twenty eight, twenty eight, thirty one. As per row one, almost twenty eight, thirty, thirty three. There will be difference of one rupee fifty paise like that. But whoever wants Halsey plan, they can go for Halsey, and whoever wants row one plan, they can go for row one. So this is all about your today's session. I'll go back to all the slides. so that you can take screenshot so this is your problem number 1 x y z the solution for problem 1 as per halsey plan earning per hour as per halsey plan if it is only halsey plan we call it as halsey premium this is a row one plan for x and y we calculated for z And these are the earning per hour as per row one plan. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what is Halsey and what is row one. And also we worked out with Halsey and row one by applying formula. And next session we'll go with more problems on Halsey and row one. Almost ninety percent we cover your Halsey and row one. Small small adjustments will be there that we will learn in the next session. Thank you.